What up, F10 Television? This is Sammy. Um, I am now one of your Monday guys, and this week's topic is pretty much how did I know I was trans? Um, well, that's a uh, it's really, really long story, and I'm going to try to keep it short. I, uh, I kind of always kn knew I was trans. Um, when I was about 15, I came out, um... And subsequent, subsequently stopped living at home because of it. And I met um, some amazing queer people and got taken in by these two wonderful um, uh, lesbians who I dubbed my dyke moms. They were high femme. Um, and um, they also had a lot of trans friends and dated trans guys. And this is like, you know, like... 11 years ago or so, and, um, it was like, you know, I, I'd always known something was off, you know, um, I was always dubbed the tomboy, but I didn't, I don't know, like, I didn't feel like a tomboy, I just, I didn't feel right in, within myself, you know, and when I got to meet, um, trans people, like, trans men and other trans people, it was like this light clicked on inside of me, and it was like, Oh, like finally, like I, I like knew what was wrong, you know, and I knew I knew that that was the reason that I had been feeling off my entire life, you know. So I came out as trans um, at, at that time when I was fifteen, and I had a lot of really supportive people around me who respected my pronouns and um, respected me, you know, and respected my ability to make my own choices. So that was really really cool. I can't, I have to say that everybody's experience is different. Um, what you find to be true is going to be a lot different than what I find to be true. Um, there may be similarities, but overall, um, I'm not going to be able to, I don't even know what the word for it is. <laughs> That's James, my cameraman, laughing in the background. He thinks I'm super funny. Um... But yeah, uh, I can't really say that I have any advice to give to other people because I don't have the right to say who's trans and who's not. Um, I feel like it's something that you really know. And I respect anybody who's willing to go through all the hardships that comes with transitioning. I have had experiences where I've had people, when getting called out on their cis privilege... Um, try to claim that they were gender non-conforming, um, which is pretty, uh, painful, uh, to, to watch happen, but I, as an individual, have no right to, to say whether you're trans or not. I mean, it's your, your own experiences, and I really believe that you know, like, you know if you're trans, you know, and given there's always a certain amount of doubt, you know, especially when taking, like, life-changing, when, when making a life-changing decision, such as getting on hormones or having surgery, I mean, there's always a certain amount of doubt, but you know, you know, um, at, at least that was my case. I've always known, and deciding to get on hormones was, it was like, it was like a big duh, you know, like, big duh. Even, even when I came out to my dad, he was like, Duh, I knew you were going to take this route, and so, yeah, what else? So, uh, for me, when I figured out I was trans, it took me a, a really long time to take any action on it. Um, I think partially because I was on the streets, like, living on the streets, partially because I was a drug addict, various reasons, um... I was really lucky that I had surrounded myself with people who understood and encouraged me to be who I was. Um, that helped a lot. So I encourage any of you guys out there who are coming to a decision or discovering that you are trans or gender non-conforming or just different. I highly suggest you find people who are going to support you. Find allies and find 
like-minded people. And it may be hard, I know that there are a lot of folks that live in BFE nowhere, you know, where finding community is hard. Thankfully, we have the internet, um, and I, so if you have an opportunity, uh, there are a lot of events that you could participate in, like, I know Southern Comfort is one of them, Gender Odyssey, if you're in the Northwest, um, there are things that are for trans people to get together and to create community, and I suggest that if you ha have the opportunity to do it, if you have to save up all year, do something like that, they're really amazing experiences, um, and they kind of, like, they help me confirm my, my identity, you know, they're, like, they help alleviate some of that doubt I might feel, um, and uh, some of that fear. Um, the next thing that I would suggest is, if you have, have, an, have the idea that you might want to pursue medical transition, is to get in therapy as soon as you can. A lot of places, um, suggest that. Oh, go by, what is it, the Harry Benjamin? Is that it? The Harry Benjamin? Now they have the W, P, w Path. The W Path? Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I suggest that that you get into therapy, start meeting. And I personally, I'm really big on gatekeepers. I know that from my own experiences that I wasn't necessarily in a place to coherently make my own decisions, especially being addicted to drugs. Um... And it was really nice to get someone a second opinion. Um, so those are some things that I suggest to you guys. If someone tells you you're not you're not trans or you're not trans enough, um, flip them the bird and tell them to fuck off. Because uh, that's ridiculous. I mean, we are subversive by nature. We make people question their ideas of, of, of gender, of gender and gender identity. So anybody telling you that you have to pick or choose or do this or that, Tell them to fuck off. <laughs> They're wrong. And we also also reserve the right to change your mind, which is why I really love Kate Bornstein, because they are just like, we have that right. We have the right <clears throat> to change our minds. And if that happens, oh, well, that's my right. My You know, if I decide to change my mind, which I don't, I'm really comfortable with where I'm at right now, but if for some reason down the road I decide to change my mind, that's, that's my right to. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to talk about. Um... I'm hopefully in what is to be considered a snow apocalypse <laughs> in the Northwest. We don't really get a whole lot of snow in the Northwest, not uh, well, unless unless you live east of the Cascades in Washington. Um, we don't really get a whole lot of snow, temperate rainforest, and we've been getting a lot of snow the last couple of days, and are expecting to get even more, which I really hope because I have school tomorrow and I don't want to go. So, wish me snow. <laughs> and I will see you guys again next week.